Lance versus taking a side. That one's fair. Just gotta be honest. Gotta gotta call yourself out. Cause because if you don't if you don't call yourself out, there there you go. Oh, you're all asking me about the Mike from PA thing? Yeah, Mike from PA putting out a clip for me, and now I don't know, because I, I, I'm not one of the people who browses his Discord, but like doing the same thing that he accuses Destiny of, having lots of his fans suddenly, you know, flood my chat with, you know, complete lies and shit like that, that's a really shitty action. I mean, I, I've had blinders on for, for Mike from PA for a long time, because again, like I was just drawing out here in this like journey towards progress, I think Mike does do good. I think Mike does advocate for good policies. I think Mike has a world of knowledge when it comes to so many uh, political small issues, especially like things that I don't know on a micro level about uh, the politics in the US. He is really good at that and really good at educating people on that. And that is good things. He also does a ton of shitty stuff. And lately I have like been kind of turning a blind eye to him going after smaller creators, for example. That's a really shitty thing, especially when you're like a giant on this platform. And now this whole turn trying to like, you know, get everyone on board with him as the savior of the left kind of shit. Yeah, that, that is weird as fuck. And uh, I, I don't know what more I, I can say about it. The same th tactics that you were consistently calling Destiny out on are the tactics that you are using on me right now. And yeah, fuck you. Like, it's ridiculous. That's all I'll say. And also to everyone who says that, like, why don't you take sides on on debates? Like, why why are you always pointing out, here's here's the nuance, here's the thing. Like, here's here's what you like. Here's here's the thing that you don't like. You know, all, all those things. I can... I can be, I'll, do you want me to do it here? I'll, I'll get rid of the, the word at the bottom. Oh, this is so bright. I'm, I'm, I'm almost blinded by how bright this is. Maybe it's, it's too bright for now. Here. I'll do, I'll do a, a speed run. Let me get some speed run music on. Okay. Lance is, oh, I'm gonna make this bigger. Don't worry soon. It's, it's schwelling. It's schwelling. That's too big. Kind of getting, calm down, calm down. You're out of control now. All right, Lance is no longer a centrist. We did it, everyone. Centrism is over. <laughs> By the way, if someone is not hating on the person you want them to, that's not what centrism is. Like centrism is people politically who usually want like a mix of social hierarchy, but also have some like extent of social safety nets and, and stuff of that nature. Like if you want a blend of social hierarchy and social equality. That, that's what a centrist is. And they're often on the wrong side of history because they don't take a position on history. Things that they see as social movements are things that they're not... Oh, you know what? I'm getting distracted by this. Now I have to restart the music because I'm not going to... All right. Yeah. Here's here's some debates. I'm going to list out some debates and I'm going to I'm gonna pick winners for you in real time. So let's see. What are some of the, the classics? Destiny versus Lauren Southern. Winner. Destiny. Destiny versus John Tron. Winner. Destiny. Destiny versus Ben Burgess. Winner. Ben Burgess. Destiny versus Michael Alberts. I didn't spell it right. Honestly, even though this debate had a really fucked up situation at the very end where Michael Alberts didn't know a lot about the stock market, which seems like a huge gaping hole in his knowledge. The three hours of education that I got from both Michael Alberts, and he was incredibly good faith. Man, was he good faith to Destiny in that debate. So I'll give it to Michael Alberts. Here's some other people. Vosh versus Sargon of Akkad. The winner, Sargon. <laughs> Vosh. Vosh versus... What were some of the other really famous ones that Vosh has done? Vosh versus Mike from PA. No one. Uh, Vosh versus Mel. I'll say Vosh, but I'm also inching towards no one on that one as well. Let's see. Oh! How about Destiny versus Mike from PA1? Probably Mike from PA. Destiny versus Mike from PA2. Probably Destiny. Vosh versus... Oh, Vosh versus Destiny. Okay, so Vosh versus Destiny 1. I would say Destiny... No, Vosh. Vosh versus Destiny 1. Vosh versus Destiny 2. Also, Vosh won that one. Vosh versus Destiny 
three. That one's probably Destiny. Vosh versus Destiny four. <laughs> That's probably Destiny. Oh no, I'm achieving perfect centrism again. What the fuck is happening? What is happening here? What are some of the other really big debates? Uh, Cedar. Oh, Tim Pool versus Sam Cedar. Sam Cedar. Tim Pool versus Vosh. Vosh. AJW versus anyone. Anyone. Oh, Moon Lord versus Weed Lord. Moon Lord. Batman versus Superman. Uh, Batman, because he's the cooler villain. Um, no, the cooler hero. Oh no, Freudian slip! What have I done? Oh yeah, Peterson versus Zizek. Uh, Zizek, yes, and then so on, so on. Iron Man versus Captain America. Ugh, no, I'm not doing that one. US versus China. <laughs> Have I have I registered enough? Have I have I taken enough positions? Like honestly, people should have a little nuance when they're either talking about debates or individuals or anything. Like I, I don't think that is some like I don't get so many things that I see on the internet. There's sometimes when effectively Twitch is so much like elementary or high school. Like so much of it is where, where it's just like it's all these politics and it's like behind the scenes and it's like, hey, did you comment on this? Have you talked about this person? Have you done this yet? What the hell? Marvel versus Capcom? This is Capcom. Oh, Marvel. That one's easy. Vosh versus Maupin? Any others? Thought Slime versus Scaredy Matt? Obviously Maupin. I don't want this- I don't want the screen to be on- to be frozen. But is- is this productive? Is- is- is this productive? Have- have-, have like- are, are- are- do we feel better? Do we feel better? And if you want clarification, the, the Vosh versus Mike from PA, I thought, just derailed so quickly into, like, a penis contest. So it was less of a debate and who's gonna... Like, I guess we have to wait until they fight in, in real person whenever they fight in, in Tacoma. So we'll wait. How about, how about the... How about I'll say that? Pending octagon UFC results. There. Now that was the one's official. And the same thing with Mel. Like, I'm obviously against Mel's genocide denial, and I think that one was just going to be an easy, like, gotcha, but this one derailed so quickly that, like, yeah, it's it's hard for me to really state. Tacoma wet, Batman is a cop, so Lance is a cop, fuck, I've done it. Kevin Logan versus Mel, there you go, there's another one. Kevin Logan versus Mel, Kevin Logan. Thought Kevin Logan was very good at uh, making and sticking to the, the concise points without resorting to, like, name calling. They're going to physically fight, I don't know, we'll see. The, the, the results will speak for themselves. I haven't seen Dr. Heem versus Mel. H-Bomb guy versus timely production schedules? Let's see. H-Bomb versus production schedule. Production schedule. That one was hard. Destiny versus Peter Coffin. Destiny versus Peter Coffin 2. DC versus <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. We're done. We're done. This is uh this is absolutely ridiculous. I don't think taking sides are as important as acknowledging that a tactical ally is not one that hasn't acknowledged the problematic past. Aspects of the past, this Malik Lani was an unapologetic Nazi, not a reformed Nazi. That's a flawed take. I think I do appreciate that was also the point you made with Mike was on though. Yeah, and I still stand by that point. That's like that's that's why it's really pissing me off right now that Mike's community, and I don't know, I haven't I didn't watch Mike's stream. I don't know if he said something about me or they've been told to do this, but they're now popping up in my chat saying, like, oh, so what you endorse uh, human trafficking, you're pro-human trafficking. Which is like such a ridiculous take, and uh, again, like it, it's not intellectually honest. It's like it's it's bad faith, and it, it turns this whole thing into into what you see before you: the flames, the flame wars. It, it turns this entire thing into an absolute joke. Destiny versus Bastia. I don't think I've ever seen that debate. I can't comment on it. He told his community to lay off. Okay, well that's good. What about Vosh versus Hakim? I haven't seen it. I've I've heard mixed things about Hakim. Some people have told me Hakim is super base, and other people have told me that like he's a full-on like uh genocide denier. So uh, I watched the stream today and he's memeing about it a lot. It's really frustrating as a viewer. Yeah. Hassan versus Jesus. When did Hassan debate oh, maybe I should do Hassan versus 9-11. The winner was Hassan. Well done. Didn't you watch the first Hippie Dippie Championship? Oh! Oh, well yeah, the winner was Vosh, sorry. But that wasn't- that wasn't Destiny versus, uh, Bastia. The Devil versus... Little Nas. 
Jesus versus the Romans, Paul Mine versus Bluto. Y'all are y'all are making up some really some really good some really good matchups here. I'll I'll give you that. I'll definitely give you that. Alex Jones versus Pierce Morgan. Oof, Alex Jones. Lance versus taking a side. That one's fair. Just gotta be honest. Gotta gotta call yourself out. Cause because if you don't if you don't call yourself out, there. There you go. And there it is. There it is. There's the there's the self call out, you know? There you go. 420 versus 69. That's the hardest one anyone has asked yet. That's the hardest one anyone has asked yet. 69. 69. Corpse husband versus Jug Meat. How oh, because uh because he asked he asked for uh, was it a phone call in his voice or something like that and got denied. Oh no, an endorsement, which is fair. Like uh, just for a politician that I'm not fully aware of to ask, like, hey, by the way, can you endorse me on on air live right now? I would definitely be like, no, <laughs> no, I can't. I can't do that. I I don't know nearly enough about you, and also that's gonna be ready. Like I, I I'm not even like a, a a fraction of as popular as uh, Corpse Husband is. So if Corpse Husband can get his songs to be put on billboards in Times Square, imagine what it would be like if Corpse Husband endorses Jugmeet Singh. Like that would be all. That would be like the new Canadian national anthem. That's all we would hear about. I endorse Chuck isn't too terrible for a member of the chat. Muted versus staring to space. Uh, I guess staring to space. Mitch McConnell versus humanity. All right, I'm not. I'm not doing these anymore. I'll. I'll make it all a better public record eventually. I want to talk about the important things in life. Okay. I want to talk about important things. Much more important things. Hey, do, do, you, do you like movies? Do, do you like? Do you like surfs? Do you want? Do you want? Do you want movies and certain surfs watching the movies? So then come over to the new channels. It's the surfs the cinema. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Can you do the thing? You know that uh, thumbs up and comment and all those things that help us out in the algorithm that controls every aspect of our lives. Also, if you happen to have a Facebook account, um, can you can you delete it? Like just just delete it. You should probably delete your Facebook account because it's just. It's not a great company, but hey, if you can't do that for whatever reason, I understand. And uh, could you also go to facebook.com slash the surf times then and uh, give us a little like and a follow. We're just trying to push back against the fact that people like Ben Shapiro happen to dominate the platform entirely. And when everyone asks, why do older generations believe the things they believe? One of the problems is the majority of them on social media use Facebook. So to counter that, uh, we're just gonna be on there too now. Also, if you happen to have a union or a worker co-op or even a leftist project podcast website, Zoom, MySpace, it doesn't matter. We will advertise it for free on this channel. All you gotta do is go to wearesurfs.com and use the forms that we got there, wearesurfs.com. Thanks everybody. To our gods, I'm Raft and Xander Corvus. We shall build golden idols in your honor. To our monarch, Tom Spiker, our soft, spongy flesh is yours to command. To our lords, Evan Nudi, Trevor R., Alexander Thaler, Ryan Lubin, bisexual black gamer, Toe Fox, and Jeffrey Lamb, we proudly carry your sigils onto the battlefield. And to our knights of the round table, Riley and Anna, Poodlehawk, Multimondi, Timothy Hart, Trevor Janis, Lemmy 101, Anthropophagic, Saren 42, Chronic to Hemp Hog, Kelly Kotka, The Great Poudini, Von Janney, Catherine, Radical Maniac, Ramon Acosta, Incosin, J. Fraser Cartwright, Jimmy Big Nuts, Violent Orchard, Sophie Baby, Political Puppy, Andreas Chiringuito, Zach Christensen, Nicholas Marks, Jopi, Josh Mickelson, Melissa Murphy, Todd Buckingham, Todd Lajeunesse, and Constance Joyce Lacheris. We tip our cap and lift our mug and salute you.